happening today, a new law expanding New York's slow down move over requirement goes into effect. The expansion means drivers are now required to make every effort to move over for all disabled vehicles on the side of the road. Initially, you had to move over for first responders and maintenance vehicles. Doing that could save lives. According to AAA, between 2015 and 2021, almost 2,500 people nationwide were hit and killed by cars while standing outside a disabled vehicle. That includes 48 in New York. I've been in Buffalo for a very long time, and I know this law was created after Trooper Kevin Dobson was hit and killed on the 290. So many of you remembering Trooper Dobson, keeping him in your thoughts. This morning, we're slowing things down a little bit, taking a deeper look into the importance of this move over law. Our 7 News reporter Maki Becker highlighting the voices of a tow truck driver and a state police trooper about the dangers of being on the side of the road. Speed past us, they don't slow down or they wait till the last minute to slow down. That's going to cause another accident. Joshua Smith is a tow truck driver at Residiacs in Cheektowaga, and he knows better than anyone how dangerous it can be on the shoulder of the road. You're always like looking over your shoulder, trying to hook up a car. And then as soon as you hear the rumble of trips, you either you got to dart out of the way. Every year in the United States, about 300 people are killed while outside their vehicles. On Wednesday, a new law going into effect with the goal of preventing roadside tragedies. Move over. That's the law that goes into effect on Wednesday. And starting then, it doesn't matter what kind of car it is, whether it's an emergency vehicle, a tow truck, or just a regular civilian car. If it's on the side of the road, you have to make every effort to get around it. Maybe they got a flat tire. Maybe they're they're broke down on the side of the road. And these could be families with kids inside those vehicles. Move over first took effect in 2011, requiring drivers to switch lanes or at least slow down for emergency vehicles on the side of the road. Over the years, it's been expanded to other kinds of responders. Now it applies to all vehicles that wind up on the shoulder. And if you don't, Okay, you're looking at about $275, three points on your license, but unfortunately that shouldn't be the deterrent. What should be the deterrent is you could take someone's life or really injure somebody from not moving over and giving them the space and the safety they need. For Trooper James O'Callaghan and other members of the state police, it's not just about enforcing laws. It's personal. 13 years ago Tuesday, Trooper Kevin Dobson, who worked out of Clarence, was conducting a traffic stop on the 290 when he was hit by a car and killed. It's one of the things that we always keep, you know, close to our heart, us that know Kevin or those that haven't met him. Um, but it's a, a reminder of just how dangerous this job could, could be. Joshua Smith tells me he's glad to know that the new law will protect everyone, including the tow truck driver coming to help you. Regardless if it's, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning or 2 o'clock in the morning, you're, you want to go home. And that's all we want to do. Maki Becker, 7 News, Chictawaga.